All right, YouTubers, we're going to do a uh, video on how to properly adjust the chain on your 2010 plus uh, RR, RS, and X trainer models. And um, all this information is going to come right from beta itself. I've seen on forum posts and such things that uh, there's been a little bit of confusion on how to do these bikes. And it's a little bit different. Not really from a uh, motocross bike. Anyway, the tools you're going to need are going to be a dirt bike stand to get your rear wheel up off the ground. Yep, the dirt bike this is dirty. I do ride it. Um, you're going to need a 13 and a 12 millimeter wrench, a ruler, and a 27 millimeter socket or wrench. So let's get right into it. So Beta actually makes a chain adjustment tool that fits right in this slot. It's $20. If you want to buy one, you can. I prefer not to. In Beta's literature, they show us measuring from the swing arm right here, right in front of the tire or like mid-tire there. And if you want it to be accurate, you want a minimum of two inches with the tire off the ground a minimum of two inches. Now that's minimum. I usually set mine around two and a quarter chain slack. So uh, it's going to be hard for me to do this one handed, but as you can see, the bottom of my chain right there is at about two and a quarter. And I'll show you in Vader's literature where it says this. And if you push it down, I can get it down to like three eighths. Now it's a little bit on the loose side. I'm probably going to tighten it up a little bit more. And if you want to do that, this part's going to be for people that don't turn wrenches too often, but you just loosen this nut here, uh, loosen your adjuster here, your uh, jam nut, and back it out. And I always count my threads on both sides to make sure that um, my wheel is still straight. And I'm going to do that right now. I have about 600 miles on my bike, and this is my first time uh, really adjusting the chain, except for maybe when I change tires. I uh, just adjusted it. It's going to be hard for me to do this one-handed, but if we look at it, I'm at about two and an eighth when I pull up. If we're looking at the middle of the tire on the swing arm, a little bit loose is always going to be better than a little bit tight. It'll uh, not wear out your sprockets as fast and you'll be good to go. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, tell me I'm doing it wrong. 2017 Beta 300RR, support the little guys. Uh, you can get a Beta for about $4,000 less than a KTM or a Husky, and uh, I'd say they're better. So that's my opinion. All right, everyone, see you on the trails.